Hi, hello to everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to study geometrical isomerism, the last lecture of geometrical isomerism. Now, today we will learn, we will study how to do geometrical isomerism in oxine. So, first of all, what is the meaning of oxine? Oxine means C double bond and OH. This type of pattern is known as oxine, C double bond and OH. Means this is our oxine. Got it? Now, there are, how can we prepare the oxime? The mechanism we will uh, discuss later on. So, first of all, if there is a aldehyde, if you react aldehyde with hydroxylamine, the elimination of water takes place and this oxime will form at pH 4 to 5. Now, this oxime is known as aldooxime. Now, why it is known as aldooxime? Aldooxime means oxime prepared by aldehyde and hydroxylamine. Now, how there is a different type of nomenclature in oxime. In oxime, we will use a new type of nomenclature which is known as syn and antioxime. Now, what is the meaning of syn oxime? If hydrogen and OH on same side, it is known as syn oxime. If H, OH on opposite side, it is known as antioxime. Syn means same side, anti means opposite side. Now, this is our aldooxime. Now, in this case, this H and OH on opposite side. There, H, OH on opposite side, therefore, we will write this as eoxime. And it is also known as antioxime because of this hydrogen and because of this OH. Got it? Now, similarly for this oxime, in this oxime, H, OH on same side. Therefore, it is not a E, it is our Z and it is also known as syn oxime. Now, what is the meaning of syn? H, OH on same side. Got it? No, no oh, sorry, the e, e is correct. This is our anti oxime H, OH and EZ will be on the basis of atomic number. So, this means H and carbon, carbon is high priority lone pair and O, O is high priority, got it, it is our Z. Similarly, for EZ, we have to use atomic number, H and carbon, carbon is high priority, lone pair and O is high priority, therefore, it is our E. I was little bit confused with the sin, anti and EZ, there is no relation between sin, anti and EZ. So, sin means H, O, H on same side. So, if I have to find sin and anti of aldooxime, H O H opposite side anti, H O H same side is sin. If we have to find E Z, then we have to check atomic number as we discussed in our previous lectures. Now, similarly for this example, this is aldooxime. Now, how I can say that it is aldooxime? Because of hydrogen. If carbon is directly attached with hydrogen, this means it is our aldooxime. Now, it is sin or anti. H O is on opposite side, therefore it is antioxime. Now for E Z, higher atomic number oxygen and H and carbon, higher atomic number carbon, therefore it is our Z iso. Now let us consider this example. In this example, H O is on same side, this means it is our sin. And for E Z, we have to check atomic number. So lone pair and O, O is high priority, H and carbon, carbon is high priority, this means it is our E isomer. Now this is nor a sin, nor anti or nor GI. Why? Because of two like group on same carbon. So, due to like group on same carbon, we cannot say it is sin anti. Sin anti is applicable only when it will show geometrical isomerism. Got it? If it is showing geometrical isomerism, then we can say sin anti. So, just write it down. This is correct. First of all, write down about, about aldooxymes and write this also, HOH on same side is sin, HOH on opposite side is anti for aldooxyme. Whatever we are discussing, we are discussing about aldooxyme. Write these examples, pause the video and write these examples. Now, this one, ketooxime. 
Now, how we can determine that it is a keto enzyme and aldo enzyme? If the carbon is directly attached with alkyl or aryl group, there is no hydrogen. In case of aldo enzyme, this valency will be hydrogen. One of the valency will be hydrogen or both can be hydrogen. While in case of keto enzyme, there will be absence of hydrogen. This means it is a keto enzyme. Similarly, I can say this is also keto enzyme. Now, in order to find EZ, we have to check atomic number. Lone pair and O oxygen, oxygen is higher atomic number. Carbon and phenyl, phenyl has more degree of carbon, it is high priority. This means it is our E isomer. Similarly, in these two, oxygen is high priority. In this, this is 3 degree carbon, this is high priority. This means opposite side, this is our phenyl and OH. No, this is not E, this is our Z. Now in this case, O is high priority and carbon, this is high priority, this is our E on the basis of atomic number. Now, whether it is a sin or anti, how we will check it is a sin or anti? Just follow this statement. In keto enzyme, prefix is used to relate first name and hydroxy group. In keto enzyme, prefix is used to relate first name and hydroxy group. Pause the video and think 5 to 10 seconds about what is the meaning of this statement. In keto enzyme, you can say sin, you can say anti. This is enzyme, I can say this enzyme is sin or I can also say this enzyme is anti. How? If you write sin in keto enzyme, the prefix, the prefix is sin. The prefix is used to relate the first name and hydroxy group. The first name is phenyl and hydroxy group are sin. This means phenyl and hydroxy group are sin. The first name, the prefix is used to relate first name and hydroxy group. The prefix find the relation between first name and hydroxy group. Similarly, I can write anti, anti, anti-methyl. This means methyl and OH must be anti to each other. Methyl OH is anti to each other. Similarly, for this nomenclature, the sin, methyl, sin methyl means methyl and OH on same side. Anti-phenyl, phenyl means first name phenyl and hydroxy group are anti to each other. So this is sin phenyl methyl keto enzyme, this is anti phenyl methyl keto enzyme. The first name prefix is used to relate first name and hydroxy group of enzyme. Got it? So let us consider one more example. If there is a ethyl is there, if there is a ethyl and methyl. First of all, if I, uh, if I ask you to determine whether they are E or Z, in case of EZ, we will follow atomic number, high priority, high priority, this means it is our Z isomer. Now, since it is a keto enzyme, why it is a keto enzyme? Because of absence of hydrogen. Now, it is whether sin or anti. If I write sin, this means ethyl, I have to write first. Sin, ethyl, methyl, keto enzyme. Or I will write anti anti OH and methyl, anti is methyl, anti methyl ethyl keto oxide. got it? Now let us take this last concept, how to find total geometrical isomerism. We have to find total geometrical isomerism of the given. Pause the video. First of all, you try this example, then I will explain. Now, in first example, total geometrical isomerism. This alkene will show GI. This means there are two possibility. It can be cis, it can be trans, or it can be EZ. So how many geometrical isomer will be there? There will be a two geometrical isomer. In example two, this ring can show GI. This means again there will be a geometrical isomerism 2 ki power n where n is 1. Now why n is 1? n means number of part which will show GI. Now in example C, this alkene will show GI and this bond will also show GI. We can draw geometrical isomerism across this bond and across this alkene. So in this case geometrical isomer will be 2, ki, 2 raised to power n and what is n? n is 2. Why 2? For this alkene 1 and for this ring 1. 
Similarly for D, this alkene will show GI, this will show GI, this means total GI will be 4. GI means geometrical isomers. Got it? 2 raised to power n. What is n? n is number of pi bond which will show GI, number of restricted bond across ring which will show GI. Now try these examples. Now in E, we can draw G A across this bond, we can draw G A across this oxime. This means in this case, geometrical isomer will be 2 raised to power 2, any 4. Now what about F? This will show G A, this will show G A. But in this case, total geometrical isomer is not equal to 4. Why it is not equal to 4? Because of symmetrical group. If I draw cis, cis, trans, trans, they are different. But cis trans and trans cis are same because of first and like group. This means this is different, this is different, this is different, but this is same. Cis trans or if I revert this molecule, it becomes trans cis. This is same, exactly same. So in this case, you have to draw and there is a formula. I will explain that formula in discussion of our DPP, daily practice problem. It is better to draw whenever there is a like groups. In G, this will show G i, but this will not show G i across pi bond, therefore 2 raised to power 1. We can draw G i across pi bond when ring size is 8 member. In H, since it is a bigger ring, it will show G i, it will show G i, this means 2 key power, 2 raised to power 2, total G i will be 4. You, go, you got the difference between G and H. In G, there is a 6 member ring across pi bond, we will not show GI. It is a 10 member across pi bond, we will, it will show GI. Now just make a circle on all the pi bond, all the atoms which will show GI, yeah, across groups, the groups which will show GI. In this case, total GI will be 16, 2 key power 4. This means you have to draw 4 circles. Pause the video, write the example and draw all 4 circles. Now, this will show GA, this will show GA, this will not show GA, this will show GA, and this will show GA, and odd even pi bond will not show GA. In this way, this uh, we will take value n equal to 1, n equal to 1, 1, and 1. So, total, so total geometric isomer will be 2 raised to power 4 means 16. Now, that is all for geometrical isomerism. And for more practice, you should try your coaching or school material, where, whatever you are studying, where we are studying, you just use that stream material for more practice. Or if you want to more practice with me, then just go for DPP sections and I will solve all the DPP. You have to fill the Google form. If you are eligible, then I will share the DPP in my WhatsApp group and in my Telegram channel. So you have to fill that particular Google form. And if you are eligible, then I will share the PDF of DPP along with the video solution link. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.